so we are back over here at our driveway we got over an inch of rain last night it was it was coming down uh, you couldn't even see in front of you I was driving in it last night and it was just pouring and I was thinking about this driveway uh, so we poured this at 11 o'clock it started raining a little bit around 1 and the guys were just holding plastic uh, while this dried some more um, they waited about an hour and we're in good shape rain come in at five didn't hurt it at all just a slight discoloration from load to load but that'll blend out so everything's drying real nice so this morning we have this concrete coming it's due probably in about 20 minutes it was a little bit of rain this morning so I just delayed our start for just a little bit uh, what is it now? 7, 7.30? 7.48. Concrete's due anymore. Concrete's due real soon. Um, so we'll pour this. All of our tools are on deck, ready to go. And then we'll go ahead and pour this front sidewalk as well uh, a little bit later today. I don't know if we'll get to that area. We have to do street walk connecting here. And then this house is done. The porch came out real nice. Matt and Steve handled this. Steve just did our couple of cuts. We like to run those tool cuts down. Sometimes we'll do that with a tool cut and sometimes we just grind them like we did there. So we'll get that little bit of dust cleaned off. That way whenever this hairline cracks you'll see it in the base of that cut not a jaggedy crack going up the face of that same thing here uh, our rebar didn't work so well sticking under so we're going to drill on an angle and pin it into this there's a lot of concrete there if you remember that was poured really thick uh, so we're going to go ahead and drill that and pin that together so Bring you up to speed, concrete's too short. Okay, truck's here mixing up. One thing I wanted to say, with all the rain we got, it's filtering through the sub base and collecting on this outer edge. Uh, so when we're pouring, we might see that water coming up through the surface of the concrete. Like over here, we're a little bit low, these puddles. So as we're pouring it, we're gonna try and keep the concrete pushing any water outside of our forms. We don't want to trap that and have it come up through the surface. So watch for that and see how that works. Okay, with the first truck all mixed up, we just spread a little bit of concrete. Even though we have chairs underneath the wire, we'll spread some concrete on the ground, pick the wire up, just helping it stay through the middle of the concrete slab we don't want it on the bottom we don't want it up near the top we want it all nice and even through the entire uh, area in the center of the concrete so raking the concrete in place screeding it followed up by a pull float as number one truck starts pouring the second pad notice in the background the second truck shows up and starts mixing, getting ready to get in position. So as soon as number one truck is out of the way, here comes number two with very little gap in between loads. Two, we're pulling them up beside the driveway. We can reach it with his three chutes on. So no water, we have a little bit of water coming up at the joint and it's just following it right out. So we'll sop that up with sponges in a minute. We'll just let that play out for now. All of our rods and wire are in, and we're just gonna pick them up as you see a spreading concrete, picking that up in. When we put chairs under the wire, it gets all wavy. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Okay, maybe I'll keep you live for a little bit of this pour. There we go. Good. 
Give me yards. Good. What I like pointing out here, we have two trucks back to back. You can see how that concrete's going to mix right in. No cold joint anywhere in this driveway. So it was taking a little bit longer to get them mixed up and, and uh, get started pouring. So we decided to go to time lapse and just speed it up a little bit. I didn't want to bore everybody with dragging this on uneventful. Uh, just again, spreading the concrete, picking up the wire, raking it to the proper height. That allows me to pull this straight edge by myself. A lot of guys comment on that, uh, but we take our time uh, my workers do a really good job and it doesn't really matter who is behind me they all do a really good job at raking the concrete putting it at the really nice level for me just leave me a little bit to work with so that I can pull the concrete level it off and give a nice smooth surface to work with without really straining my body uh, as I get closer to the street, notice how I take it all the way to the street. I don't turn at the end. I, I want the driveway to flow all the way with a nice curve all the way to the street. I don't want to take it down and then flatten out at the apron. So that went really well. On to finishing. Okay, with truck number one on the ground for about a half an hour, it's ready for all the edging to be done, as well as the tool cuts. So Tommy will come out onto the concrete with knee boards, and pull a string line down the cuts that we put in our pad yesterday. That way everything stays nice and straight. Now, Matt and I will follow him up. I'm in the blue shirt. Uh, Tommy's in the red shirt. We'll just work together as a team, putting in our tool cuts. That way we have a guy on each side of the board when you're cutting the tool cut in. You don't want that board moving and going crooked. So now we're all out there edging, floating, cuts are in. It's almost ready to broom. So once we get this pad done, the second truck will be ready and we'll just move right onto that. No break in between, but it goes really fast and when you have these guys with everybody's experience we can move through it uh, and nobody really has to struggle now fewer guys obviously you want to do less less concrete but two truckloads of concrete for us is uh well is an everyday thing so it usually goes pretty smooth as the hot weather sets in we'll change that and maybe just get one and a half trucks or, or even one truck to start We'll just, day by day, we'll change it up as we need to do it. And now you see what I do there. As I'm putting this little triangle in to protect this corner, I took my float and I wet stabbed it down to really separate that concrete. And keep in mind, it's still tied together with wire mesh, rebar, as well as fiber mesh. Now I'm just cleaning up the top so it looks good, but it's really separated in there so that if it does hairline crack, It'll make it all the way off the side. We're all caught up. <clears throat> a little bit of a scramble on this one, but we're good now. This is a little bit soft for cuts, so get a drink of water. It won't be long. Take a sip of that coffee. Okay, we are back underway. Uh, we're just working up the driveway, putting in our joints. Now we'll break into a couple different groups here. A couple guys will be cutting in joints and floating, and you'll notice people moving out of the camera, uh, starting to broom and edge the driveway behind us.
onto the sidewalk shortly. And again, notice we have two guys on the board cutting joints. That way nothing moves. Keep those nice and straight. Next, I'll be putting in my angle cuts at the apron. Our crack protection as cars and vehicles move from the street, rolling over the corners. We want to protect those corners. Floating the concrete as little as possible. If you overwork it, that weakens the surface. So one or two or three passes with your float is really all it should need. Almost ready for a broom. Now the last thing we have to do before brooming is we have a joiner on a bull float handle. Now we just go through our cuts and reopen them up, reshape them, make sure they're good and straight ready to broom. That's a pot ready to broom. We'll just let it sit a couple more minutes. Steve's taking care of this over here, brooming. Get on finishing. I like my new tripod. Now this is what I really like about how we do things, I, I, how my crew does things. Watch in the next couple minutes how we could just broom this driveway and walk away from it and be done, or everybody could do a little bit more work, edging, coming down the joints, opening up the tool cuts, re-edging the perimeter, really highlighting everything just to give it that extra little decorative look. As, as we finish up the turnaround, same thing on the driveway. Just that little bit extra edging, joining, really goes a long way in the finished product. I really don't want to keep repeating myself in my videos However, when it comes to brooming, just take your time. Don't broom it too early. Give it so it just leaves a real nice broom mark. You don't want to tear that concrete open. Uh, two things, it'll look bad. Uh, it'll be real rough and uh, not, it just won't look good. As well as tearing that surface open, now you can let the icers that drip off the car or, or place on the driveway really penetrate in there and do some damage. So a nice soft broom still gives you good traction and it looks a lot better and it's more durable. The last thing we have to do on this driveway, the apron where it meets the street. Just doing our curb edger, we always use this on the driveway apron where it meets the street. It just leaves a little groove, just a little detail. I don't necessarily think we get any crack protection out of it. It just looks real nice. That little groove mark six inches back from the pavement. As we shine up the tool marks through the center of the apron as well as our Y cuts. Just makes it look nice and clean. And again, I keep going back to that crack protection. You gotta got to do something to protect these. Uh, the delivery trucks pull in, running right over those corners, uh, they're going to bust. So we got to do something. Okay, there it is. All done. Corner cuts for protection. A car tire hits this. We get a hairline crack right there. Nobody knows it. It's all rebarred together. I'll see if I can't talk Emily into just posting this 
two hour video as it was. You saw everything live. That's a face full. No time lapse. I'm going to show you what Steve did on this corner up here. We poured this yesterday. It's drying real good. He did a real nice detailed job getting around that corner with our edge mark. I like that. Good crack protection off of this corner. Something blowing on the concrete there. Okay, hopefully this rain holds off. We have this sidewalk coming. We all just wanted to take a break from the camera and get this project done. Here is the front walk, all completed. Has a real nice roll to it. Now they'll do landscaping in here with some low voltage lighting around there. It'll look real nice. Uh, we just finished pouring the street walk. So the guys are gonna finish that up. I wanted to come down here and show you this apron that we did on the sidewalk. I'll get it from the other side. I think you'll like it. Okay, so there's the front walk, how it looks where it meets the driveway. When a car comes up and runs over this corner, we have real good crack protection there. I always think about that and I always stress that, how important that is to protect those corners. So driveway's drying nicely. Still no rain, just a lot of overcast, really muddy here, but it's that time of the year we deal with that quite often. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the driveway all done, I think I pointed that out earlier. Finishing up the street walk, and we are out of here. So as always, thanks for tuning in to Conquer with the Hosses, and just moved in to cut the grass. Close out the video in here. It's a lot quieter. People cutting grass, carpenters yelling, trucks running. Uh, so as always, thanks for tuning in to Conquer with the Hosses. Hope you enjoyed the video.